I'm Celia and today I'm vegging out in Southall, which is such an exciting and vibrant place. Many Asians in London consider it their spiritual home, but you'll find wonderful markets like this all over the UK where there's an ethnic concentration. Now India is the vegetarian capital of the world, so I'm so excited to see what we can find inside. Let's have a look. Paneer masala is the name of the first dish for today's vegging out. For this paneer masala, I'm using ingredients that are indigenous to Kerala in the south of India. That includes desiccated coconut and cashew nuts. I also need some fresh whole spices. Now, I've got some cumin here, also known as jira. That looks like quite a lot, but you know, if you buy your spices whole, they keep for ages, so that's just a good bargain, if you ask me. I also need some whole coriander seed. I think these look nice. They're big and, and sort of oblong. They look especially good. I also need some turmeric which actually stays quite fresh, even though it is ground. And also, I need some cardamom. Now, normally the cardamom, you see, comes in the pod like this, but I happen to notice that they have some already out of the pod, which is fantastic, and it's still a whole spice, so that's gonna keep a long time and save me a lot of effort. Now, the paneer in this recipe is actually a fresh cheese, and they've got some already made here but we are actually going to make some ourselves. And what we need for that is a whole lot of full cream milk. I'll show you how later on. I've got some onions, I've got some garlic, I've got some ginger. I'm gonna take a couple of these green peppers and a nice handful of these gorgeous chilies. Let's get back to the kitchen. Is I brought three pints of milk, whole milk, that is a full fat milk, to the boil. Just as it started to boil, I just added a bit of lemon juice to the pan and then took it off the heat. And what's happened is it separated into curds and whey. And I let it cool down and let it drain in this muslin. And what I'm left with is this lovely piece of curd cheese. Quite amazing, out of three pints of milk, that's all you get. 